In this video, we're going to go over how to ha let the user create an array and then put data for themselves. So, the first thing we need to do is create a method public void create array. And it won't take anything. So, we'll first tell the user, eh, actually, we'll create a scanner first. So, we say scanner input equals new scanner system with capital S dot in enter the size of the array and we'll make sure that's on one line so let's say int x equals input dot next int And then we'll create an array of that size. So int user array. Oh, make that an array. Int user array is equal to new int, and it'll be of size x. Then we have to have the user input the data. So let's see. For the user to input data for int i equals 0, while i is less than x, we'll say i++, plus plus. and then user array, and whatever that position is, so it'll be the 0th position first, equals input dot next int, and we'll create a uh, print line up here telling them the user enter We'll tell them to enter x numbers for the array. And then after the create an array method, we will print the array. So public void print array. And since this is going to print an array, it needs to take in an array. This will We'll call it print int array for an integer. So we'll take in a integer array and we'll call it user. We'll call it actually print this array. I think that's a good name for it. So for int i equals zero, well i is less than the print this array. Dot length my dot length minus one. We'll say i plus plus, and then we'll tell it to print this array. Tell it to print the height value. Oh, need that semicolon there. Oh. Sorry, forgot the uh, system dot dot print. So it'll print that element, and then we want to leave a space for the next element, and we'll get rid of that. So at the end of this method, we will call the next the method the print int array, and we'll send in user array. And then we also need to say joey.create array at the beginning to create the array. So let's say I want an array of size 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then it prints 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, it shouldn't be line, and this should be just dot length right there. So we'll try this one more time. Let's say I want it to be 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And it prints the array right there. Might want to tell the user what's going on. This is the array you have entered. And then we can create a similar method for print int array backwards. 
and it'll take an a integer and we'll tell it to print this array print we'll just say print array to make the typing shorter this is the array you entered backwards then we'll basically just have a reverse for loop from the one in the previous uh, in the previous method so for int i equals print array dot length minus one while i is greater than or equal to zero we'll increment it by one and we'll say print array i and then we'll give a little space there and we'll make that all on one line and we'll call this method down here from this uh, from this method right here so print int array backwards user array run this one more time enter the size of the array let's say three one two three all right, so there's some kind of problem here. It gets to, it, this is the array you've entered backwards. Oh, hold on. So, so we want it to be three, one, two, three. All right, so for some reason we'll not print this. We'll just try again with length instead of length minus one. Those always confuse me, but they're fairly easy to figure out inside the program. So, let's see. It's the array you have entered backwards. For int i equals print array dot length. That should be. That should work with a minus one there. May not print everything, but let's see here. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Instead of I plus plus, it should be I minus minus. And everything is working now. It's telling us this the rate we have entered backwards and it prints three, two, one. So that I minus minus kind of tripped me up there. I was copying this one a little bit too much. So I hope this video helped you understand how to print arrays and how to let the user input some stuff. If you'd like to see any more examples or have something specific you'd like to see, please let me know and I'll try to do that for you. Otherwise, uh, other than that, thank you for watching.